Veeam Games Inc. has a requirement that mission critical applications be minimally impacted during backups. Given this requirement, what physical design should be recommended? So here we're talking about physical design. Okay, uh, let's take a look. So first of all, we, we, we had this trick here, minimally impacted during backup. So we, we want to keep that in, in mind. Uh, option one, physical Veeam backup proxy is connected by iSCSI. Okay. Physical Veeam backup proxy is connected to the Ethernet network. Virtual backup proxy is connected via Veeam appliance mode. And physical Veeam backup proxy is connected to the fiber channel network. All of these don't really seem like bad options. So I think we have to go and take a look. Now, if we take a closer look, do we have some idea about what sort of storage that they're using here? Well, down here we notice, as we saw from a different question as well, that all VMs are residing on NFS data stores. So if we go back again, it, it, it don't make any sense to connect anything to fiber channel if we're using NFS. So that takes option four out. iSCSI doesn't make any sense. So that takes one out. So we're down to a 50-50 here. Uh, should we connect them to the Ethernet network or should we use virtual appliance mode? Well, um, it depends. Are we going for virtual proxies or are we going for physical proxies? Because here it says physical backup proxies, right? Basically, I think the real question to, to be answered here is, what exactly do we want to do? How do we want to make these backups? So let's go down and take a look here. Alternative backup methods for virtual machines that are mission critical and susceptible to stuns must be used. So basically, that probably means we want to minimize, for example, uh, virtual machine um, snapshots. Now, uh, do we know what kind of storage, like could we use backup from storage snapshots, for example? Uh, not sure if it mentions something about the vendor. Let's see here. Cluster NAS. Mm -hmm. No. No, well, we do have multiple clusters, so um, for that reason, we might want to go with physical instead. It doesn't say anything uh, as far as I can see about what exact vendor it is. So we, we, we don't know if we could use uh, back from storage snapshots, but I would generally try to stay away. Uh, in this case here, it was NFS. Did we actually know which NFS version was it? Uh, it, it does say they're using 4.1 here for the NAS cluster, but that's that's not VMware. Uh, it just says NFS here. Usually, to be frank, uh, NFS on VMware is version 3. Uh, personally, I haven't seen anyone use 4.1. Not to say it doesn't exist. Uh, seems just more unlikely. Uh, secondly, we, we did have multiple clusters. So I think I'm going to go with the recommendation here that we use physical connected to the Ethernet network so that they can talk to the NFS storage so that we could uh, go ahead and uh, use the um, NFS, uh, direct NFS uh, transport mode. I think that's going to be the most efficient. It's always what I would recommend when we're doing NFS backups. Even if it was a virtual machine, I would recommend using that. What, what would the benefit be of using virtual appliance mode? Uh, really nothing, right? We have, we have an overhead for adding, removing, uh, all of these uh, disks that have to be hot added and hot removed. No benefit, um, potentially lower speed here. Now uh, we're also using the bandwidth of the hosts for sending the backups out. Now we're basically having less impact on the network of the host, which ultimately also has less impact on the mission critical machines. So for that reason, I'm going to go with option number two.